Well, hello everyone, it's me, Daniel with Website Candy, and I normally don't do reviews, but I had to do a review of this right here. This is called Catalyst, and it's an Apple Watch, uh, make sure Apple Watch waterproof. And honestly, the main reason I got it is because, you know, I was just in a lot of environments where uh, my watch was getting a lot of dust on it. And actually, this is my second Apple Watch because I had to have it replaced because the Siri feature stopped working. But here it is right here, it's called Catalyst, and it's really nice, really cool. I thought it would be really bulky. Um, in order to get the actual watch on, um, the, the case on, you need this little screwdriver, so definitely wanna keep up with it. But you know, it's just a little standard Phillips head. Um, it could be replaced if needed to be in regards to, you know, uh, taking the Apple Watch out of its actual casing if you needed to but i couldn't do this review right here without actually being close to some water so here it is right here and you can see i'm running the apple watch right underneath um the faucet there and it's still working perfectly um let me reach around here i normally don't wear my apple watch on this wrist here but you know for this tutorial's sake i needed to have it on this wrist but as you can see it's waterproof 100% waterproof, works really, really well. Um, the other day I washed the car, and normally I would take my Apple Watch off to wash the car, and I didn't have to do all that. But here it is right here, you can see, it's really nice. They actually have another one, and here's that screw that I mentioned right here in regards to um, attaching the actual uh, case right onto the watch there. But it's really nice, really cool. Um, I can't see anything bad about it, really. I mean, you know, it just works as advertised. I mean, you know, I normally don't put my watch in water, but if you ever, ever going to, this is the way you want to go, without a doubt. I heard a rumor that Tim Cook actually uh, takes a shower with his Apple Watch, and um, I never tried that. I just didn't think it was the best thing to do as far as you know, getting your Apple Watch wet, you know, it's electronic, but it's easy to put on. Um, the band here is really comfortable and it just works really well. I mean, I just think it's really awesome. Now, keep in mind that the one thing about it is the screen right here is not protected in regards to waterproof. There's a seal, as you can see that seal right around the uh, the face there. So the face is not, doesn't have any type of protection to it whatsoever. Um, just the back of it. And you can see all the buttons work really well. The digital crown works really well. I can move in and out with that digital crown. And let me take it off one more time just to show you this. But the back of it, it goes inside like a little bit of a gel casing. So you can see that gel casing on the back of it and the heart monitor still works really well. Everything works great, but it's called Catalyst. Um, if you are going to be around a lot of water, if you're going to be dealing with a lot of water with your Apple Watch, I definitely recommend this casing here to make sure that you protect your watch. And like I mentioned, I mainly got it to protect me from dust. And you can see it doesn't enable the speakers or anything. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Well, I got my do not disturb one, so hey Siri might not work real, really well. What time is it in Tokyo? All right, there it goes, works really well. It hears me pretty good. I've actually had phone conversations with this, um, with this uh, casing on here, and it worked out really good. So a great way to go, once again, here's what the box looks like. A great way to go in reference to making your watch waterproof and they actually make a waterproof iPhone case that I'm definitely interested in picking up here really soon. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you subscribe. If you want me to do more reviews on things, uh, leave a description, leave, you know, leave a message below and uh, make sure you subscribe and like this video if you haven't already done so. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye now.